nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, guys. Well, the sun has been up for a good while, and you might wonder why are we outside today, right? Well, as I told you guys yesterday, they said to us that the construction was going to be till 7 o'clock this morning, and uh, so I watched a movie last night, slept in this morning, so we got up and uh, walked around the trailer and discovered that the seal I put on here for a customer seal is missing as you can see it's not there but uh, my uh, bolt seal is still still intact you know so I bet you they were surprised that they couldn't open the door right so this is our company policy that we're always supposed to put a bolt seal on there and luckily I did otherwise they probably would have my doors would have been opened this morning you know probably so that's never a good thing, right? The load is secure, but uh, now uh, it's a waiting game to find out from uh, the company on uh, what they're gonna want me to do, right? I don't know exactly what the, what the process is of this, you know? I've never dealt with this issue before. It's the very first time, so we'll have to find out, right? Alrighty, guys, we have just gotten the okay to uh Go ahead and continue on with our journey because uh, the company seal, the bolt seal, was not compromised, so the nobody got access to the load. Construction ahead. I just got the okay to go ahead and continue on because uh, nothing was damaged, uh, no access was gained, so we're still safe. We. Uh, are allowed to continue on, although it wasted a bunch of time of mine, but uh, we are good to go. We'll have to see if we get to Toronto. I can still make it. I mean, I do have the hours. It's just, uh, it's going to be late now, and uh, by the time I get to Toronto. But that's why it is very important to uh, do a proper pre-trip every morning and go ahead and inspect your load and if your load is sealed make sure that your seal is still intact check everything over to make sure there is nothing illegal on your truck or trailer make sure everything is okay you know good thing I did that because uh, I all of a sudden get to the border and that seal is missing, well, that's gonna kinda look suspicious because that bill has that seal number on, that customer seal number is on there, you know? So that would be a very big red flag, so that would not be good. So now it's like quarter after nine. Could have left probably four or five hours ago. But uh, when I got up this morning there, we, uh, well, first of all, they had this stretch under construction, so I couldn't really leave till, uh, till 7 this morning anyways. Well, at least that's what they said, but by the time when I went up, they, when I got up, they had already reopened the highway, but uh, then I checked everything and discovered that, that it was missing, so I had to wait till we got an answer from dispatch, and, uh, what they were going to tell us, right? Uh, it looks like they're still working on the highway here, but at least they got the right lane open, though. No? Yesterday they had the right lane uh, closed and the left lane open. Now it looks like they got the left lane uh, closed and the right lane open, so they're putting brand new asphalt down. Yeah, so we had 650 miles to go from uh, from that rest area up to uh, Mississauga, so that's going to be a long day, but hey, well, probably.
probably about 11, 11 and a half hours worth of driving. We should be alright. Should be alright. So let's put the hammer down. Let's try and get towards Toronto. Alrighty guys, we are coming into Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, look at this. This was the bridge that I was telling you guys about a little while ago. Where I thought I was driving across this river and uh, here we are again. That's where we were. We're going to be turning on to uh, I-75 here pretty soon. And and we'll be uh, making our way towards uh, to uh, Toronto, towards the board. Yeah. Anyways, we will be right back. Alrighty, guys, we just had our pit stop and uh, had our half an hour off. And it's been pretty windy here in the last little while. Yeah, pretty crazy windy. It's pretty cold too, you know. Don't let that sun fool you and thinking it's not cold over here. And it certainly is. Yeah. We got about 376 miles to go to Toronto. And it's already quarter to three in the afternoon. So we're gonna have to drive real hard late tonight if we wanna get into Toronto tonight, but Oh well, we'll have to see how that goes, but at least I won't have to worry about rush hour in Toronto, right? That's right. Now yeah, we'll see if we make it up to there or not, but I told you guys the other week that I have to wait till I get paid next paycheck, you know, and see if I'll have a good paycheck. And if I did, I was gonna go buy me some new tires, right? Well, we just got paid today. And uh, we did have a good paycheck, so. We should be able to get them new steer tires here next week by the time I get home. I'll get them there locally. I don't have the rims with me either, so I can't just go out here, get them put on, right? I don't know if you can see the shaking right now. That's what my uh, tires are doing because they're starting to get bumpy or whatever you want to call it. And it vibrates my whole cab, you know. It's terrible. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to get some new tires put on. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna put the hammer down towards Toronto. We already got ourselves a reload out of there. Yeah, we got a preloaded trailer there in the yard, ready to go. We're gonna go back to Winnipeg. They want it there to be delivered there Monday, but we'll see how that goes. I'm pretty sure I could do it because, uh, like I said, I got eight and a quarter hours coming to me tomorrow and then 11 for Sunday. So I probably only have about, I don't know, maybe five, yeah, maybe seven hours to drive on Monday, which would put me there in the afternoon, but I could still deliver in the afternoon, right? Yeah, we'll see how it goes, but supposedly they got some snow up there in Thunder Bay area already. I think my buddy was in there yesterday and they had a pretty bad snowstorm come through there yesterday, so uh, probably all that lake effect snow, you know. So, uh, but yeah. have to keep our fingers crossed that it's not going to be too bad with the snow and we'll get home safely anyways we'll uh, continue on rolling we'll see what the rest of the day will bring us well guys i forgot to do my closure last night and so we figured well 
we'll do it this morning then. No problemo. I'm still here at the uh, master steak. It's about 9.30, 9.45 or something like that. Eastern time. We slept in this morning. Since we don't have a lot of hours to go on and we've been running real hard, I figured yeah, it's time to relax for a change, you know. At least a little bit. We have to do some driving today, but relax a little bit, right? Yeah, I went in here and uh, had me a good old steak here last night. It was real good, too. Oh, yeah, it was. Dropped my trailer at the yard yesterday and uh, bobtail over here. So we're on personal time right now and uh, enjoyed our evening in here we really did and now it's time to uh, continue on with our journey so alrighty guys I hope you have enjoyed today's vlog and be sure to stick around for tomorrow you might see some snow have a good one behind me that day is gonna come